I'm Pastor Don, the other Pastor Don, or you might remember me as Pastor Bruce and Don, which is how for 20 years, Bruce and I were remembered and referenced. I joined Pastor Bruce and Pat in, uh, after accepting a call in August of 1985. I joined Bruce as a co-pastor. And for 22 years, I've had the privilege of doing this with a congregation who's been willing to serve and willing to follow. What could be better? This congregation is a welcoming congregation. And by that I mean this, they're here, you're here, to welcome people who are not just Christian reform. I had the privilege of serving here with a congregation who was eager to welcome people who were from some other background, some other denominational background, or even more excitingly, from no church background, which on one level is sad, but on another is incredibly exciting. When I came here, it was in place that in order to be in a small group, it was a requirement that the group be comprised of members and people who were new. Whether they were members or not members, whether they were a seeker or whether they were a saint. If you were going to be in a small group here at Calvary, that's what the group needed to look like. And people loved that challenge. Then I had the privilege of being, as part of my job description, the person who was leading the charge, you might say, in establishing small groups. And nothing would make me happier. Nothing did make me happier. Calvary Cross Point is a congregation that wants to embrace and even enjoy change. That is not an easy thing to welcome and to enjoy. But this congregation was that kind of congregation, and I pray that today you will be that kind of congregation, that you're willing to embrace change and even enjoy change. It takes constant energy. It takes tremendous faithfulness. And while here, we had that privilege of experiencing the faithfulness of a congregation willing to live in and with change. We can't change people, but we can love people. We can serve people. We can look for the least. We can look for the last. We can look for the lost. And we can be Christ to them and commit them into the hands and the power and the love of Christ. May that be your vision.